two kids, one being one years old, our oldest being three. That's a table, a stool, a bench, a seat, you name it. We are debt free with this thing. This is our Ram Pro Master 2500, 136 inch wheelbase. Let's check this out. All right, so welcome to our van. This is the entrance to our van. Uh, a lot of vans that you see out there will have the fixed bed in the back. A couple reasons why we built our van this way. For one, I wanted more of a door, so back door. This is allowing me as well to um, put sheets of plywood in here, lumber, anything that we're moving. Um, my coffee cart comes in here nice and easy, nice and snug. I have anchor points on the inside of these things so where we can um, really secure things so they're not flying around when we're driving. Inside here, um, there is a lot of uh, storage, just random gears in there. When we come up here, uh, this is pretty fun. Uh, it's just a, a solid piece of wood with some inserts. Um, our trash can is in there. Um, we also use a recycle bin as well. Going over here, we have an outlet with USBs, very convenient for charging your phones and whatnot. We have a little air purifier that we use on the road. Um, if you live, lived in a van for any sort of amount of time, you know that it can get stinky pretty quick. These are little like fold down hooks um, for hats, for bags, you name it, we use it. So up here we have two cabinets. Uh, we use his and her closet and the two boys closet. So we actually um, have a few bungees that we keep closing here. This bungee is like a van life hack. We have it everywhere in this van, you'll see. Um, so we have a dog bed, we keep our dog around and then we just put that up just for getting it off the floor, keeping it from sliding around and whatnot. Same way with this one, we put our kind of window shades and stuff in here. So it just makes it really convenient um, just to get them out of the way there. Living on the road, um, we actually do it part-time. We do spend most of our time here in Colorado, but we really use our van a lot for like week trips. Um, every once in a while, we'll go out for a month long or five weeks. At that six week point, it does start to get a little stressful with uh, two kids, one being one years old, our oldest being three. Um, and we actually do bring her along too. So you can imagine in a hundred, 36 inch wheelbase that it gets pretty tight with a full family. So yeah, we love doing it part-time. We bought the van in 2017, I think. And we took about two years to build it out. We didn't want to go into debt over it. So um, we actually pulled out a loan for a van and we actually paid that off um, before we did any build out. I did all of it myself, a lot of trial and error just because a lot of um, small things. You're not building on a square wall either. So it's all around it, it's all, it's all challenging. So we are debt free with this thing. All right, moving on forward here. We have this little kids table here. That we like to fold up so the kids can have a place to eat or drink. Um, something that we, we like to say, and it transfers over from our tiny house, but like we love to have multiple uses for each item that we build or add on to our build. That's a table, a stool, a bench, a seat, you name it. Then we move on to here, this is our baby gate. So this is actually an accordion baby gate. It comes open, and we close, close it up. Um, but we love to let the fresh air in, right? So this is a, just a nice, easy way to keep the kids safe. And then we then come back here. I'll start with the bottom and work my way up here. Uh, so here we have a cabinet and we have our propane, extra bags, diapers, our toilet, um, super handy. Our wastewater is in there as well. This guy here, and we'll hook this bad boy up here and it folds down. So therefore now all of a sudden it keeps the dishes above and we have a little place for water to drip. Um, but we use the same rack for our tiny house and we absolutely love it. It's pretty sweet. It folds up nice and compact. So this rack is, it comes from Ikea. Um, they actually have a bunch of different attachments for like these bars and stuff like that for silverware, plants, all kinds of stuff. Um, but this rack is definitely useful. It does bang around when you're driving around. So that's why we keep it underneath. And we got 
a drawer here. This usually keeps all of our utensils and our napkins and all kinds of stuff like that. On this side, we have a Dometic fridge that pulls out. Um, this is just a fixed drawer because this is our sink. So we did the same thing we did in our tiny house, but we did um, in our van an insert. It really allows you to have a lot of counter, counter, top, counter space. Um, this also pulls out. You can spray water, spray your dishes. Over here, we got our uh, cooktop, two burners. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with this thing. I think if I would have rebuilt a van, I probably wouldn't put this in here. I probably would just get a um, tabletop burner set just for the amount of times we actually do use the burner. Uh, it just doesn't make, make sense to always have it out permanently. Um, I'd kind of like to see just a countertop. One thing to note is this tile. It comes in a big sticker but it's flexible, it doesn't break, doesn't crack, it's not heavy. A lot of that stuff you need to take in consideration when you're building a van. We also have another outlet with USBs. Um, this is my electric kettle. Um, so it pulls about 600 watts, I believe, in power, um, but it's amazing. It's like a gooseneck kettle, if you know anything about coffee. Um, this is amazing for doing pour overs. It's got a delicate spout and everything like that. It heats up the water really fast. We actually use that way more for like cooking oatmeal or anything that you need to boil water with, mac and cheese or whatever. We boil water with that other than our cooktop. It's way faster, way, way faster. Moving on up, we have um, just more storage. Usually that's food and all kinds of stuff there. And then this one is, as well, more food, more storage. Um, over here, we have uh, the WeBoost. Uh, we work remotely. So um, that definitely helps us get an extra bar or two wherever we're at. Um, it actually really helps for when we, all the doors are closed up and all the shades are closed. Um, it really helps us have good service inside the van. We get asked all the time about how you guys do it, how do you afford it, all that stuff. And uh, quite frankly, vans aren't cheap anymore. Um, build outs are not cheap anymore. I like recommending if you're not very crafty, it may not be for you. Things break all the time. You have to really figure out what clothes you like, what you like wearing on a daily basis, because you don't have much storage in a van. Um, some people can't do well in a small space, but the convenience for us outweighs everything. But it may not be for, for everyone. It can be very stressful at times, because um, it is DIY, you know, and like you, things do break, things do go wrong sometimes, and you know, you just got to fix it on the road. So, you know, you gotta have some tools, you gotta have some knowledge, you gotta just be flexible all the time. All right, so when we park, uh, this is the first thing we do. We, we ended up going over here and then we swivel the seat. So we have the uh, Lagoon table that swivels. This thing is uh, very sturdy, very, very convenient. I really wanted a spot to entertain or just get out of the rain or play some cards and whatever. So um, with this little chair and a bench seat and that front table, um, I actually got a little tripod folding chair in here too that we can sit right here where I'm standing. Um, and we can sit a handful of people in this little van. Um, we also use this as a bed. So let me um, show you how that works. So we move these pads. Normally we just kind of shove them up here for temporary. And then I have a couple of uh, locks, which is attached to the frame, which is then locked. So it's never going to come out. Um, I have huge, big piano stainless steel hinges on here. So they're super sturdy, super strong. All of these holes I cut out um, for ventilation to keep the moisture off of the mattress and everything. So with this bed, I had a hard time getting it to level out. I had to create like a kickstand or something. And so that's what these little pieces are still kind of thinking about a better way to do this. There's that, there's that. So as you can see the height, I had to raise and figure out something fun for that. So I'm um, gonna unlock this. So there's that. And then we just kind of unfold everything, bring these mattresses up. And now we have a fully functional bed. So the next part is getting ready for our bed lift. But before I do that, I wanna mention this little projector right here. So when we're on the road, we actually put up a stretchy screen and the kids have a little screen 
movie theater on the road. So it helps to get a little extra hours on the road. So we have a couple of holes here. Um, these are kind of just like spacers basically to help sturdy out the bed. So I take these, put these guys in here. I have some safety brackets that I like, you know, technically it's not going to fall, but just in case like the rope broke or something, these are, these are my safety. Back in here, I have the remote to this winch. I have a winch over here that controls all four pulleys. And then I'm just going to kind of guide this down. So up here, when we drop the bed, um, one thing that's pretty important is air circulation. We have a propane heater on here. So what we do a lot of times is we'll crack the fan just to have a little bit of airflow. Um, but yeah, you can see all the pulleys up here. That's so pretty much our bed lift system. The bunk beds in it and a small van. You know, if you're interested in more of our stuff, um, we are on living.compact on Instagram. And we also have a um, coffee catering business, um, Compact Coffee. I travel around the States doing latte art trainings, bar flow trainings. If you ever need for that, just hit us up. Um, but we'd love to just hash out some van details or if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. So thanks for um, taking the tour of our van. I appreciate you guys hanging out and taking the time to look at all the details.